Voila! My poor man's ballistic gel. I made this gelatin up because I want to run a couple of tests on three different pellets. So the Diablo pellet, the Flathead or Super Mag and Hollow Point. And I want to show the effectiveness of the Hollow Point and the deformation of the pellet on hitting its target. So the idea is I want to fire some shots in the end here. And I'll be able to track them through the gel and have a look at the damage they make on the way through. So three shots in the front, maybe equally spaced if I can. And then we'll be able to view the damage as it travels through. Here's my garden target board. I've stuck another couple of boards on there that I can hold a GoPro and the gel. This is where I'm shooting from. I lasered it at four yards, just to give you an idea. I did that because I didn't want to have to go and re-zero the scope for doing this. So the gel's on there, just make sure that it's gonna stay. I'm gonna shoot in the edge of the gel, so in the front here. And then the idea is we'll be able to see the pellets travel through and then we'll be able to see also from the top the wound channel of the pellet as it travels through the gel. So the GoPro is set up ready to go. Unfortunately it didn't record at 120 frames per second which I wanted. It's only at 30 but recorded the shots anyway. That was a Diablo, Super Mag and that one there was a busy hollow point. This slow-mo here is 30 frames per second slowed down because the 120 didn't work but it still gives you an idea of the shock wave that the Bisley impact generates. So we've done the gel, going to move on to some apples now. This first shot here is a Air Arms Field Diablo. Knocked it on his backside. This second shot I take with an RWS Super Mag. Remember these are all in 177. That's quite an impact there. This shot here is a Bisley Pest Control Hollow Point. Quite a substantial hit and a lot more damage there. So again, that's 30 frames per second slowed down, so you can see the devastation that's caused to the apple. Apple number one was an Air Arms Field Diablo. Apple number two was an RWS Super Mag. And apple number three was a Bisley Hollow Point. I'm gonna cut the ballistic gel open now. Just gently cutting down one of the wound channels. So the channel I'm cutting down is the one left behind from the Bisley hollow point. Just split that open. So you can see the hollow point has actually remained inside the gel. So if that was tissue, which is what I'm trying to simulate here, that will show that the pellet will remain inside the quarry. Just trying to loosen it off. And you can see just how deformed that pellet is, how much it's squashed down. So there it is compared with a one stay from the tin. See these channels here, those two have gone straight through from entry point right the way through the gel, all the way down and out the back. So they are the Diablos and the RWS Super Mag. Still quite a bit of damage there from the Super Mag. But this here is the hollow point. So you can see the wound channel effectively only travels halfway down and then stops and leaves this huge crater where the pellets come to a tumbling stop and deformed at the same time. To me, if that was flesh, which is what this is trying to simulate, you can see the damage these pellets cause on impact. So again, the top is a deformed pellet that was fished out of the gel. The bottom one is a pellet straight from the tin. This is the recipe for the poor man's ballistic gel. This works for me. Hopefully it'll work for you too. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.